What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Newcastle United career mode. In today's episode we have two matches as always. The first match is the second match in the round of 16 against none other than Bayern Munich and then later on in the episode we have a match against Manchester United. So we're currently 1-0 down with just, uh, I'm just, I can't believe in the last episode that Langerak was on international duty and we couldn't field him. Just absolutely ridiculous. I'm so angry at that. We end up losing 1-0 to Bayern, obviously. Um, we could have lost by a lot more, to be honest, but um, hey, what are you going to do? But just to quickly recap the last episode, guys, we did have the January transfer window. We also brought, we did bring in some players. We brought in De Stiglio, a new right back. John Matt was good, but I felt like we needed to just, I don't know, get a high rated, shape it up a bit, bring in another youngster just to shore up that center defensive, uh, that's <clears throat> that defensive, um, defensive line. But speaking of defensive line, Bayern Munich's crumble there, and Remy Cabela had no right, no right to shoot from that audacious angle. It makes it 1-1 on aggregate. He was just carving carving up the Bayern Munich defense and smacks one past Manuel Neuer. So we did lose um, Yang and Biwa in the January transfer window, but then we ended up signing Paul Pogba in the center defensive mid. So I'm hoping with the signing of Paul Pogba and De Stiglio, we can focus on the Champions League and hopefully win this season because we've got a, we've got two 85 overalls in the, the center defensive mid. Like half of my team's nearly 85 overall, and Ben Zemmer makes it 2-0 two two now and 88 overall. We were playing absolute fantastic football against Bayern Munich to make it 2-1, and we are well deserved to be 2-0 uh, up at the Allianz Arena. We were breaking away, and for some reason Bayern were playing a 3-5-2 formation. Why on God's earth would you do that? We're just going to break on the account attack playing the four uh, the four two the four two three one that's what we're playing Remy Cabela whips it in to Wellington Silva fresh off the bench the Brazilian trying to be the impact sub but on the counter attack here Matic managed to find Santon my Italian um, left back managed to get his shot off but this is probably one of my most favorite goals of the season Ronaldo chop hocus pocus scoop turn into the top left past Manuel Neuer and Wellington Silver, my god, what a beast. And if I do move on to a different club, I will be definitely probably bringing him or Remy Cabela with me and a couple of the youth players. But just, just the way he scored this, Ronaldo chopped a scoop turn to a uh, uh, hocus pocus to scoop turn, gets it back on his right foot and thumps it into the top right. And that was just, that was like, yes, we deserve to win this match against Bayern. They were playing horrific football, and Wellington Silver scores his first goal in the Champions League for this season. And I was so proud of him coming off the bench and doing that. Looks like we could be quite getting another one here. Adele Chirat manages to find Grenier. And after after that humiliating, punishing goal that Neuer led in from Wellington Silva, uh, Grenier, fresh off the bench, scores his first goal in the Champions League in a Newcastle United jumper, the Frenchman. So that makes it 4-1 in aggregate. And that rockets us through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So, guys, it'll be very interesting to see who we get drawn against, I'm sure. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see who we get drawn against. Uh, I really can't wait to show you. It's Manchester United. I did say at the start we were versing Manchester United, but I didn't specifically say we were versing them in the Premier League. So I kind of left that up to... Uh, maybe some of you might have picked it. Um, Barcelona are versing Arsenal, and Real Madrid are versing Wolfsburg. PSG are versing Atletico Madrid. So I'm actually quite surprised that Wolfsburg actually beat Chelsea. Kevin De Bruyne is currently the sixth top goal scorer of the Champions League, followed by Danny Welbeck at six for Arsenal. And of course... My man, Karim Benzema, on top goal score, which is absolutely fantastic. But Chelsea will be absolutely gutted to see De Bruyne dominating. So we do have a match against Manchester United at Old Trafford. It is pouring down, as always. And I really can't wait to show you this episode. But guys, let me know in the comments, where do you think I'll finish in the Champions League? My main objective is to win it. We've beaten Bayern Munich. We absolutely dominated that Wellington Silva. Just mwah, spectacular football. But we did manage to concede the first goal just before the fourth minute to Antonio Valencia at Old Trafford. And also let me know in the comment section down below where 
Where do you guys think I'll finish in the league? I want to make top four. That's my main objective. I don't mind slipping because we won it last year. I just want to focus on the Champions League. Robin Van Persie gets his shot off at Langrak, and we actually start playing well when we actually have our first team goalkeeper. Not fucking Darlow. Valencia was dominating this match, managed to get the uh, the through ball to... Sorry, the, the, yeah, the, the through ball to... Robin Van Persie, but Remy Cabella just before half time on the stroke of the 45th minute makes it 1 1. He gets his shot off past God knows who is. It's either David De, David De Gea or Lindegaard, but that's how you that's how you teach how to do. I don't know what's that shitty celebration. He managed to get his shot off. David De Gea gets a little bit of a hand to it as you see there. But it was 1-1 one, one at Old Trafford. And this was just warming up. Valencia comes in with the corner kick. And for some reason, I was trying to get a bicycle off there. Adnan Genocide, the Belgium on the ball, managed to get his shot off. Robin Van Persie couldn't collect it. But Wellington Silva playing absolutely spectacularly, spectacular in that match against Bayern. Nearly tries to replicate. It was a Ronaldo chop to scoop to. And there wasn't a hocus pocus in there. He manages to hit the post. But Wellington Silva makes it 2-1 just before the 75th minute, and I really wish this kid could have a spot on the starting 11 team. He's just been playing absolutely spectacular football, and he's really reminding me of Hatton Ben Arfa back in the young days. He manages to get his shot off, and he commits to it. He slips over, and that's two goals in the Champions League. But what a player, Wellington Silva, and we end up winning against Manchester United 2-1. So, guys, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video, support this series and my channel. And, of course, I'll be bringing more career mode tomorrow for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Simpsy out.